This is question 38. College Board asks how long it would take a Peregrine Falcon at 200 miles per hour to dive half a mile. And we have our speed in miles per hour equals your number of miles over your number of hours. Pretty much by definition that should make sense. Speed equals distance over time, or speed times time equals distance, or time equals distance over speed. To get from this equation to the second, I multiply both sides by time. To get from the second equation to the third equation, I then divide by speed. And this is the equation I'm going to use because College Board is asking for a time. So my time is my distance, which is 0.5 miles, divided by my speed, which is 200 miles per hour. And that gives me 1 over 400 hours. But they're asking for the answer to the nearest second. So I'm going to convert from hours to minutes. 60 minutes is the same as one hour. I'm putting hours in the denominator so that my hours will cancel. And then now I have 60 over 400 minutes. To convert to seconds, 60 seconds is the same as one minute. And again, I put the minutes in the denominator because I have minutes in the numerator. I want to cancel those. So I have 60 times 60 over 400 seconds is my time. And that is time equals 9 seconds. So I would grade in 9. College Board often asks you to convert units frequently more than once on the same SAT, so I would recommend that you practice this method. You can also often set up a proportion, but it's much easier using these units conversions and it's typically safer if you're at all unsure. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.